George, you've always uh, you've been a voracious reader. Everybody knows that you just you love reading. You have books stacked up uh, that you haven't read that you're going to read, and yet you're still buying new ones. Uh, have you always had this passion? I think it's elevated itself with each passing year, and that I, I, I think when I really uh, uh, took it to another level was when I went to work for Lefty Drizelle at at Maryland, and, and, and it was a time when, when I took some giant steps forward uh, and, and, and culturally and intellectually. Uh, Lefty was the first one that really taught me uh, a sense of pride in how you dressed and how you, uh, you, you, you presented yourself to people and that. And, and we, I, I would say to this day, we were the best dressed staff in, in the ACC and we carried ourselves with a sense of pride and dignity and also at that time was when, 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 when I really started to realize that there was more to the newspaper than the sports page or the comics. You know, most of the time, uh, 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 the first thing you went to was was the sport page. Interesting enough, today here I am at 75, and that's the last thing I read. I usually start reading the newspaper. The first section I read now is the business section, and 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 I always take and divide the paper when I get it now and I always put the sports as the last thing that I read and I think it's it's a subconscious reaction to when I was growing up as a youngster that was the first thing I wanted to read and, and so over the years that my my interest and thirst for learning uh, uh, continued to escalate and I started to realize that that where I could gain a huge advantage was 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 through uh, acquiring knowledge. I, I've said many times that I think that two of the most important commodities in human life are money and information. If you've got information, you can get money. And if you've got money, you can buy information. And so, and then, and then I remember one time uh, uh, my grandma told me that back in the days of slavery, uh, white people used to hide their money in the books and put it up on the shelf and they never worried about the slaves stealing the money because they were never going to reach up there and pull a book off because they couldn't read. And so the message I took from that was that, that as long as people can deny you the access to information, they can always control you culturally and politically and economically. And so, so I made up my mind that I was never going to get myself in a position where I was going to be at a... Uh, and disadvantage because of lack of, of proper information, of basic information. Mm -hmm.